A T gun on there. No infantry suppressed. Bazooka teams are about to open fire with a massive volley against the Panther, which is like, I can take it. No, you can't, son. You can't take this much bazooka. I mean, I guess I'll start there. Uh, do you guys like yogurt? Because I do. Because that's why you're here, to know if I like yogurt. Anyway, hello everyone, this is Grayshaw17, who kinda likes yogurt, doing a KOTU replay, thank god. Uh, hopefully if this doesn't crash, um, I feel bad, cause I got a few updates before the last patch, and none of them worked. But, hopefully this one stays alive long enough. Uh, usually I do strategic fume, and I've guessed, but because these replays are so buggy, I don't want to bring someone in here to co-cast with me and constantly have to resync and restart. It, it, it just doesn't work. I really hope they fix it soon. But anyway, in the meantime, this 4v4 is on Port of Hamburg. We got to start with America, Hulk, El Patio, Rago, Panzer, Hawaii, Shrimp, and E2 much? Let's see. So we got two, o yeah, two OKW and two Austere. The OKW has been fixed, I believe, with our uh, medical base because I know that is something. By the way, I'll be I'll be talking about all that real soon. Anyway, on the other side, we have two Soviets and two Americans. All right, so a good a good fighting force, all things considered. Oh God, a scavenger, not a fan, but fine. A Luftwaffe is fine with the Falschmagers. Elite troops, not bad, but no artillery and one heavy artillery strike that can kind of knock out any position, such as artillery, like Y Man is getting with his guard rifle. So far, nothing else. German forces trying to retake the area. Americans doing what they can for some long-range action. Mortar as well coming on in, thanks to uh, the other American. So it's two Americans on this side and two OKW versus two Austere and two Soviet. Interesting. Penals on the side. Again, penals have been greatly uh, added to via the re recent patch, which is great. So it's just helping them out. An egg capacity, which I thoroughly enjoy. Again, penals are one of my favorite units, and the fact they've been boosted um, is really, really good. Now they're engaging grenadiers who are getting into cover, but with the engineers right there, yeah, they're gonna run for their lives. Run, men, run! But good job, penals. Excellent work. Anyway, uh, on the far right, looks like the Germans have broken through the Allied lines. Oh my God, they even killed a Rashlon. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, Mortar needs to hightail it out of there. Why is he only going Rashlons? Uh, well, did it work? That's probably why they collapsed through here, because they only had Rashlons fighting. Oh, I like that ambulance design. That's a really cool color scheme with the ambulance. Anyway, uh, so let's see. Conscript's burning up the MG with a good... I'm assuming a Molotov? Yeah, you got the Molotov upgrade, which now is only one, which is nice. Again, so nice you just need one upgrade to get your men on the front. Um, allied forces are fighting near the front, and it uh, looks like they uh, have blocked off the enemy's uh, heavy cover. Volk squads are taking away the allied munitions. It's cut off, but it's only a star, so it really doesn't matter. Scout car and flame troops are coming on in, and yeah, the Austria are having a rough time with that. A real rough time. Penal's moving on in. Conscripts as well. Germans might have might be close to collapse. They do get the MG, but will uh, nice satchel maybe stop? No, they're just gonna keep firing point blank at them. Yeah. Oh, MG. Uh, oh, it should be fine. He might get down the one, but he'll make it back to base. Anyway, uh, allied forces still trying to hold against the Germans. I love the Germans again being like, Oh, you have no cover over here, good sir. And we're just going to leave you with that. Enjoy. Again, I would say just get minesweepers, but they've already been upgraded with rifle grenades and flamethrowers. So my no minesweepers for the allies available to deal with this situation. So that's uh, that's great. Flamethrower is going to burn him out. Also, uh, rifle grenade, I think. Was it a rifle grenade? Yeah, it was. Wow, more, uh, more cover not being able to be used by the allies. Stern Pioneers, barrier, come, no, stop making, stop, oh, you're dead. Yeah, that was a mess up on Raquel. That was a big mess up on his part. Probably should retreat that unit. Oh my god, conscripts get executed. Oh, damn, poor Hawaii. I believe, that, yeah, that, that was Hawaii's conscript. Oh, well. Uh. Anyway. Grenadiers opening fire against 
he wait no no actually they're firing against the building they're not I, okay now they turn and very close to death all right panzer doing okay at least he retook that area Again, that's good, because right now they grab the fuel over here. That's at least something for the allies, because it's not like the right-hand side they're doing great. Okay, now they're doing great. Looks Again, they just regrouped all their men and pushed with everything, while the Axis were kind of spread out. But they are slowly coming back up. We do have some MGs, looks like, coming up and on standby, so that could hold them back. But there's so much infantry here. And I'm assuming you have smoke grenades? You do, so you can easily smoke this MG. Also, oh, nice uh, grenade. But again, that MG is MG34, so it's, even though it does suppress, it's not as effective as the 42. Again, pull back to the building might be a good idea. Oh, well, maybe not with the flamethrower, maybe behind that cover. Um, Wolf Squad pushing on in. I don't, I'm, you're, I guess, trying to keep suppression, because I don't expect you to hold. But hey, Shrimp might actually take this side, and uh, let's see. I Eat has gone Urban Assault, and Shrimp has gone Rifle Company. So some good abilities right there, some really good abilities. Uh, but no, uh, overall, it seems like the front has stabilized. We have some caches going down on both sides with fuel and munitions, respectively. Well, that's good. That's good. Again, you're going to start need those resources that are more stable. And yeah, allies are about to get double fuel. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. They have not double fuel. The axis took back the left. So everyone will get a fuel. We have uh, conscripts pushing on in. Hawaii not having that much. Panzer getting guard troops again because of his doctrine. Uh, which Soviet combined arms, which I, I feel like is going to be the new popular doctrine. Since uh, they took out the IL-2 bomb strike. Oh boy. Which, yes, I'll probably be talking about the whole Skippy Major Bones LEFH thing as well in the future. My quick, my quick thoughts on it is... He's not wrong that Counter Barrage is extremely powerful uh, in that and is able to kill a lot of units with no micro. But I also don't think it's the it, it, it's necessarily the fault of uh, Relic for not no or like or it's not it's not the fault of the people who make those patches of knowing that. And it, it's a weird thing, but I'll, like I'll I'll get into that later. But. Anyway, MG gets knocked out. Oh, so close. Can he kill it? Oh, very, very close. But hey, the Soviets do manage to get an MG, and they try to bundle grenade it, but he does miss. I'm assuming he was trying to go for the MG. Oh, Satchel's going to push him out of cover. No kills, but still did the work. Pino's now in cover. Uh, he's... Less so, or at least he was. Uh, we do have some packs coming in, so again, always good to have early AT, just in case the enemy does something. And again, right now, Jaeger armor, which again, they changed the doctrine, so now it's an IL-2 strafe with a, uh, anti-rocket, so it's anti-armor. We got ourselves a recon over flight on the left-hand side. And it looks like the Grandier squad's trying to push on left. Which sucks, because Hawaii's like, I'm going to put down caches for everybody. And then you have this going on. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to start killing it. Actually, Hawaii's put down a lot of the caches. He's literally the solo builder of the allies right now. Meanwhile, the Americans are deciding, hey, who needs who needs caches? We'll just keep pushing forward. And the Stuka shows why that's maybe not the best idea. Because again, just cut off, uh, destroyed a couple units. Maybe not the best Stuka in the world, but killing an ambulance is always a pretty big ordeal. Some units trying to get the cover. I Oh, grenade. Almost gets a kill there. Very close. I don't know why you're charging this. Th th this looks horrifying. This looks absolutely horrifying, my infantry pushing it. And yes, I would say the allies are blobbing. Like, this is absolutely blobbing to the upteeth degree. Good armor-piercing rounds being fired to stop them. Trying to see here. Yeah, we just got SG-44s. Again, I'm hoping for infiltration grenades. Like, I'm waiting for that, him just throw it and just all of them die. Oh, here they go. Oh, gets out of there. Dang it. A little slow in that regard. I was hoping they all three at once and they can kill some of these units. He does force them back. And looks like the rifle grenade just hit the building. All right, now might be time for Regal to push. 
But you still have the MG here, which is, is a douche go, which is incredibly powerful, just suppressing. So really, really good there. But, yeah, anyway, T-70 is going after the Grenadiers. And we got some infantry fighting on the left-hand side. Interesting. Because there's only one. And you have the pack there. So it's like, this T-70 is like, I, I'm fine. And the pack gun's like, no, you, you aren't. Now, luckily, again, smart move. He's actually using the cover to his vantage. So even if he turns and fires, there's a good chance that pack is going to hit the cover rather than the T-70. Or just not have direct sight because of all the blockage. So again, good, good use. Don't just back up. Use the environment to your advantage. I like that. Now, they're trying to get around these MGs while running through it. Not going to work with these beetles, so you know, so fall back. Uh, meanwhile, he needs to block this area up for any future engagements, because I guarantee you the enemy is going to attack through there again. That, again, always hit the enemy where they least expect it. And they don't have anything there? Great. Now, Hulk doesn't have that many frontline units, but he does have, some, dove, bleh, does have himself a Panzer IV rolling out at this time. So, that's awesome. That is truly truly good especially because it's 11 minutes in having that armor and the allies have gone with light armor for the most part let's see hawaii has gone at gun but he's nowhere near getting even light armor um ie has gotten himself a major but again nowhere close and shrimp has got himself a uh, a a, uh, a half track an a half track so again he's no one on the allied side is close to getting armor but the axis and again helps that we have some caches brought to you by hulk has rushed Panzer IV. Now, that doesn't mean you should rush in a Panzer IV straight in. But, hey, he's going to target this poor T-70. Oh, uh, oh, button. Okay. Doesn't save it, but uh, guard troops will do what they can. And actually do quite a bit of damage to it. Very, very good to see. Oh, my God. That, that one guard troop almost annihilated that Panzer IV. Again, good, again. But, uh, you could say the Panzer IV did knock out the T-70, which is a nice little win. Because, again, it's light armor. Now, you still need to heal that Panzer IV, get operational. But, oh, look, there's another Panzer IV now on the front. And, again, Panzer IVs are great at killing infantry, which is the main concern right now. Meanwhile, on the right-hand side, really haven't talked. American forces trying to stop the Germans from pushing on in. Again, Regal and El Pato are doing what they can. Come on! Aw, oh, not, not the best grenade. Did a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Alrighty. A little bit of action there. Volk Squad so close to dying. Mortar finishes it off. That's a hell of a way to go. Alright. Stuka very close getting up to a higher veteran. See? Would be very cool if he could do so. And again, the allies have artillery. They got the Calliope. Let's see. We got ourselves a two-piece of artillery. So right now, if anything, the allies are the ones who's really going to be spamming the arty in this situation. If we're going to see it. Now, right now, we do have one Stuka. But I uh, assume the allies, as soon as they start getting a decent fuel income, will start pumping it out. But we'll have to see what they do. Because again, sometimes people pick doctrines and never use that special ability. Or go with completely absurd tactics. Because they're like... Hey, you know this thing that really helps with arty? Let me just go entirely T-70 based, because that's a great thing to do. So you never know. Anyway, this gun looks at opening fire the Panzer IV. Bring it uh, down close to half health. Conscript's trying to push, but again, and I, get, I will say, good job with the PPSHs. Again, getting them equipped for close range. Having guards at long range, good counter. Or, sorry, good balancing act. But the MG's there stopping him, but that's not stopping Hawaii. And also Shrimp, who is going around. And MG is actually out of position right here. Plus, you got the rifle grenades currently going off and actually hitting the MG, making him force back. Conscript's barely alive. How did he not die from the mine there? Should have got two models, but somehow he lives and uh, makes it back a to base. Meanwhile, uh, Breshlon building something and immediately being put down. Ugh. What's with all the builders today being like, I must, I must finish my construction project. You're gonna die. No, I'm one man. I need to finish the barbed wire. Oh, okay. We have a Panther coming out. We have a Sherman about to come out. Uh, a half track still on the field. And not really much for anybody else. Meanwhile, we got Stuka, the Panther. And we have an Oswin now. Okay, so he's, actually, he's getting some substantial medium armor. Or at least a good number of them. We do have an M1 here, which will probably easily hold them back. Especially with all the infantry here that can throw AT grenades. Wait, will the Stuka kill it? No, it was wildly off. Wildly off. 
Oh, nice American mine, slowing down the armor. Very close to getting a kill. Hold on. No, okay. They they probably not gonna kill it. Good mines though. Again, great positioning because that would be around the corner. So if his AT gun was stationed there and the Panzer Force slowed it down, he could get it right before it escapes. So I get what he was trying to do there. Um, grenades unfortunately missed the two units just being controlled together. Book squad might die here because of the bars because he's uh, definitely up them with lots of bars and he does lose the unit. You got recon forces and they're fine but it really helps have something in between to really help and they just don't. Plus you got more American infantry with bars. Oh my god they're just dominating on the front and doing a really really good job all things considered. All right meanwhile in mid we got the panther uh well, getting some smoke support to stop the AT gun and such. White Phosphorus that comes down, and that will cause some issues, because they can't fire in it. Uh, again, now we got tons of smoke and debris, causing my frame rate to just go through uh, the gutter. But uh, it's fine. It's fine. The uh, Panzer IV is flanking right now a lot of these support weaponry. Uh, Conscripts can throw an AT grenade. It wouldn't matter, because it's just going to ping off. It'll do a little damage, but it's not going to stop in its tracks. And again, I will say this, I love the fact that these units with Minesweepers actually di visibly dis show themselves to have Minesweepers. That's, that's enough. I really enjoy that. It's so, it helps so much distinguishing, does this unit have Minesweeper or not? I, again, small little patch notes, I'll get to that but I do uh, in another video, but I do do like this. Um, anyway, MG's blocking over here with the Teller Mine here, so most likely an allied push through this way would not go great. Especially if they don't have any Minesweepers to back them up. And I don't think he does. Yeah, Panzer doesn't. Uh, he also has a T-34, which is fine. But the enemy easily has multiple Panzer IVs and stuff. So you really need to back that up with your infantry. So we'll see. And again, most of them are guard troops. He's not great as penals at all. Which I know, it it, it can be not as great when you do that upgrade. But I still think it's necessary if you want to get a good Satchel on target. Satchel's so good against armor. T-34 trying to go for the run, but yeah, trying to like crush him, but this is so stupid. What the hell was that? It was a bush. Panzer IV and a Panther just obliterate that unit. And yeah, the Panzers are just gonna most likely counter over here. I don't know if he has enough units to block all this. I'm being honest. Because what, you got two guard? Oh, sorry, sorry, all three guards. Oh, wait, AT grid. Oh no, they're turning all the AT guns. They're fine. Scout car's dead. And uh, Panzer IV is using smoke. He might be able to get out. Panzer IV is coming. Okay, yeah, this is why. The MG is suppressing them. Oh, main gun destroyed. Uh, uh, Hawaii's trying to keep sight, and he does. He kills it. I was really hoping that they would suppress, and the Grand Ears would move up and start killing this stuff while they focus with, like, rifle grenades or something. But I, I, I guess he just thought the armor was enough? Okay, sure. You really need to make sure you have infantry and armor, so that way the infantry designed to fight the armor is being murdered by the infantry good at killing infantry. But, you didn't really do too much. The scout car wasn't worth a Panzer IV loss. Oh, Searchlight! Okay, this I love. I love the fact that sir, this is now going to be a staple for every OKW player. And this is why. You get recon. That's it. It's, it's, it's 200 manpower and you get recon. It is so good. It is so good for the OKW. Plus, of course, you get sight. So if I could do this, you can see here that you get, like, extended sight for it's, uh, in the area. That's really, really good. Because then that can complement a Yag Tiger or a Elephant or anything like that to an absurd degree for firing within range. It, it's so good. But the recon itself is important because the OKW, if you're trying to locate enemy positions or artillery... That is something you need, absolutely. And I'm so happy they did. They need to do something with it. And I feel like that's so, so good. Anyway, American forces and Soviets are taking a beating, but so is this awesome one here from the AT guns right here. Again, Shrimp is not like having. He does. He has a good force. Oswin does manage to escape. We have a Sherman, but it's an easy eight variant trying to hold the line. Uh, however. Allies have pretty much broken through on right. The axis have collapsed. American forces backed up by Rangers with bars of all things. And and Thompsons, okay. Pushing through. Artillery is currently coming down thanks to the uh, scavenger ability. Just hitting a little bit of everything. S-285 taking some decent hits, but relatively fine, all things considered. Alright. 
Infantry is pushing on in. Uh, but, oh, they might kill the MG. Yep, they do. They forgot to retreat in time. Oswin, though, is doing a lot of good damage there. And the Blob is slowly coming back via, via Regal. I'm probably butchering that name, but sorry about that. But yeah, he's trying to push back this Sherman again, which has been upgraded with Bulldozer and MG. But it's still a base Sherman. It still has the high explosive round, so it still can be very potent. He doesn't have the upgrade, but I think he switched it to deal with the Austin or At least be on standby for armor. And it's still doing a little bit to infantry. It's not like, it's not killing anything. Oh, uh, sorry, it's not not hurting them. It's definitely killing models here and there. And he got the vet one because of it. So, hey, nice little bonus. Also, you got the EZ-8 now firing through there. But anyway, uh, yeah, Stormtroopers have decided to just come out and just start killing everything from behind. Not great. Uh, again, killing caches is, uh, he's like putting mines here. Oh, God. Oh, buddy, you have some more things to worry about if you push there. But I would say the allies are definitely in a better position. Sure, again, you have this issue and the blob of guards are going to quickly demolish that. But you currently have an issue where the Allied uh, have broken the Axis defense on the far side. So, sure, yeah, it's expected. The Allies will hold this position, position, but there's literally nothing stopping the Allies from rushing through here. This is a big red flag, because, again, they can just rush armor back here and just start killing everything like this cache and such. There's nothing defending it. You have the Stuka coming back in. It could get some good hits with the infantry. You have to be very lucky that, that thing is preemptively, like, aiming at where they're going. And they're on the move, so we'll see if that happens. Unfortunately, he gets a little bit of a hit, but not really that much. He, yeah, everything's relatively fine. How many kills you get? I think you're at eight kills. So you only got two models. So that's not great. Meanwhile, KV is in mid, uh, taking a decent amount of shots. Thanks. Uh, the Panther can pen it, but now that the KV has been boosted a bit, it definitely helps them hold. Uh, Cervic Strike coming on in to help against the infantry. And yeah. Uh, well, it's definitely pushing the Axis infantry back. Panzer Grenadier is the last thing left, and they may not even live to tell. Yeah, they're probably not going to live. Allies will take control of mid, which will, again, VP wise, the Allies are the one that's in the lead right now. The Axis are currently down quite a bit. They need to do something in order to really counteract these guys in a long term fight. Middle looks like it's about to collapse. Are we close to any heavy armor? El Patio looks like he might get a tiger soon, I would assume. Uh, although he needs mechanized, I believe, to get that operational. I don't think he's built that, so tiger probably not likely. Um, the tiger A, or the king tiger. The tiger ace I don't think is likely because of fuel and manpower. or not even close to it. Even though he has the VPs for it. Not VPs, the command points for it. Yeah, it looks like he's just going for a panther. He could go for a tiger ace, but... Any oh wait, he needs just no, he has the heavy panzer corpse. Never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say, why is it saying need oh it requires, but it's not it, it's not it doesn't need unlocked. Okay, I, was, I thought it was glitch or something. And then America, he could I think he's just waiting on V is his control point uh, control points. Command points, my god, I can't talk today. Command points and he'll get the elephant, which could be very bad for a lot of this armor that's just hanging out. But it's not like the allies don't have AT guns, they do. And without the Stuka bomb there, they don't have anything to target that. Um, so the, it's a very good anti-armor doctrine. And also a recon, because of the scope and the actual recon plane. But against infantry and the AT guns, you're going to need a Panzerwerfer or something like that. Like, whoa, Nam. Okay, Panzer's pushing on through. It's really up to America to hold this area. He has a Panzer IV Vet too with 24 kills. Nothing to sneeze at. Panther, I have no idea why he's charging with a panther. Reversing infantry. Oswin coming in. Uh, you're going to die by penals. You are so dead. I have no idea how they didn't satchel you. Panther 4 just coming on the side. Being like, I'll just get some free kills. Though I mean, I got four already. Can I get some more? Does he rather run him over? Oh, good move. They were suppressed. Uh, wait, maybe bad move. Penals are right there. Oops. I thought he was suppressed too. That would have been a smart move if he was suppressed. Not so much that he wasn't because he was able to throw the satchel and the AT gun just helped finish it off. Because again, if it's suppressed, you can easily crush the unit. But the problem with getting close to these units is all the AT guns. So, yeah. The, the, all the AT rifles, I should say, that are with all that. So, not great. Not great. More surfix strikes coming on in. Allies definitely clobbering the Axis right now. 
happen. But again, with all the Oswins, the planes should get taken out pretty soon. After the first strafe, I believe, that it's pretty likely they're going to start falling apart out of the skies because of the anti-air guns. And, and kamikaze German positions. That's fine. KV charging headlong into it, actually killing the Oswin. Good kill. Uh, he does lose himself, but that's not stopping the Soviets. S-285 backing it on up. And Hulk has lost quite a bit. I will say it's kind of his own incompetent charges into the infantry, but still, Axe is not looking great. Their population right now is in the, I would say, low 60s, I think. is a good way to determine, right? Low 60s. Probably mid 60s. And then, uh, allies are currently somewhere hovering in the low. I would say actually upper 60s. Maybe. God, my math is bad today. Uh, I think it would be upper 60s. Anyway, uh, the last chance for the Axis is on the field right now as the Elephant makes its debut and trying to get some long range shots. Now, again, it needs sight because right now, for example, it has that. It does have a spawn skill, which helps. But having additional units as well to cover the elephant between. So that way, while, it, yes, it can not only get the maximum sight, it also has the ability to have coverage. So, you know, you don't have AT guns or conscripts or something. Or penals or guards just rushing in and shooting it. Probably a good idea. Anyway, uh, Grandier's just being torn apart. My god, they, they need a Panzerwerfer. Where's the Axis artillery? I'm actually serious. Meanwhile, we got allied artillery, but so far has gotten only one kill. Not great. And again, the M1, the 152s don't exactly have a special that they can rely on, which is unfortunate. So, here, let's, uh, let's see. Recon's overhead. Germans trying to push. They have a King Tiger now. They have an Elephant. Panther's trolling it. Again, this blob is not helping. And why they don't have a Panzer for the deal with it, I don't know. Because that's perfect to deal with this thing. Smoke coming in, but fun fact, smoke doesn't really do much. Suka's gone to vet Veteran C2. But yeah, none of the Axis have artillery. They're really trying to go with an anti-artillery approach to this for the most part. Except for maybe a support gun. Panzergrenadier and stuff. Trying to hold. Bundle grenade. Oh, stun grenade, sorry. Gets a good hit. Okay. King Tiger's definitely getting a couple good shots in. The artillery is though hitting the area, pushing back the heavy tanks. Fighting position machine gun is in place. Yeah, forcing them back. Great shot, killing the Austin with the double easy aids. So yeah, Shrimp is also looking pretty good manpower wise. Um, I don't know why he's trying to get a mortar carriage. I don't think that's really needed. Uh, you're already dominating on the infantry field. Like, your infantry have gotten a ton of kills. If anything, I'll just get another inf infantry unit to help. Or, uh, yeah, I would get, again, you have a good howitzer. I, I, I don't think a mortar carriage is what needed. Watch, you'll get, like, 50 kills before the end of this game. But I, I'm just seeing how this game is playing. And you've pretty much, like, again, if you look at Regal, he doesn't have much infantry. So you don't need another infantry killer. If anything, he needs something multi-purpose. So that's why I would say something like, uh... Another infantry unit, um, riflemen, or something along those lines. Meanwhile, Soviets and Americans trying to hold mid. The elephant's taking a few hits, but it's still relatively fine. You still have to manage all the T-gun stuff on the front. Smoke going out for recon. Again, looks like, though, why he's trying to get anti-air. Or he's trying to just heal the forces on the front. Man, look at all the T-guns. There's so many of them. But yeah, you got a bunch of big heavy tanks, and you're hoping... To break through, uh, we'll see. Uh, look, the, the fact that you're literally at the armor of Kursk, except for like we got a King Tiger to bump up the normal Tiger. If it look, if they get the Tiger Ace, fantastic. But judging by this guy's population uh, and also his current manpower and fuel income, I don't think that's likely. Artillery is currently in this region. How much artillery do you guys have? Okay, just the two howitzers, and they've gotten. Six kills so far. Okay, we have double mortar carriages. Oh, they're fighting in mid. That's what he's using it for. He's using it to help hold mid. Okay, I guess I can kind of see that, although he's not really firing from this position. So, unsure about that. I, I understand, but I'm just eh to it. Uh, Soviet artillery possibly hitting the, well, 
friendly fire, but luckily it did nothing. Grandier's just being absolutely destroyed. Merica losing quite a bit of his army due to these guys. And, uh, yeah, they have 17 kills, 7 kills, 13 kills, 14 kills. They've gotten decent amounts. Edge Grandier's at 17. Howitzer's under fire uh, from the artillery barrage, but it was not enough. Oh, uh, yeah, it wasn't enough. Again, that's why I'm not as fond with this 105 howitzer. It doesn't... It, 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 there's a good possibility whatever you target for direct strike will still live. Which is why I prefer, like, the Firestorm direct strike. Because that will kill, most likely, whatever is there. Uh, even armor. So, again, that's why I'm a little bit more lukewarm on scavenge. Uh, Rangers backing on up. Again, we got ourselves I uh, eat. Um... He's trying to move through with a bazooka team, and again, with rangers, they do get bo bonuses, so that can be very beneficial. Unfortunately, the uh, Pantai Corsair just annihilated one of his ranger squads. Sucks for him. I get what he's trying to do, but it, I don't think you should send two models behind the lines. We have another King Tiger on the field, so that's two King Tigers, as long as the one in mid's still alive, which it is, and an elephant. So they have the heavy armor. It's just maybe doing a collective push with that. Because, again, I, uh, the Americans, I feel like, are the strongest aspect. The Soviets are definitely weaker on the front. Now, these guys are stronger, maybe, uh, like, grouped up, but that can be easily dealt with, yeah, with just good infantry. Also, we have a IL-2 bomb strike coming in. Completely misses because they walk out of it. Again, relatively speaking, don't use IL-2 bomb strikes against mobile units unless they're immobilized or just can't move in the first place like if you know the enemy isn't paying attention maybe as well but like most of the time don't pants grand is getting some sweet revenge on these guys pushing them down quite a bit taking over this position trying to retake the left hand side again right now they need anything panther as well trying to get some pop shots against the easy eights in mid false makers trying to clean up some of the conscripts and yeah that's some good infantry to do it with uh unfortunately stern big strike coming on in Pushing him back. Meanwhile, Calliope's opening fire at mid on top of the King Tiger. Or maybe on their retreating Falschmakers, but it does miss. Um, not really too many kills. He did get some veterancy, or points toward veterancy, though, from hitting the armor. So you have that. AT gun as well, just barely out of range because it provides that support. And now smoke coming down. Again, not bad for a push. But again, the axe is absolutely needed. They're currently down almost... Well, yeah, they're down quite a bit. At this rate, they're going to be literally 4 to 1 soon. So yeah, they need to do something now. Uh, engineers somehow grab the bar. Because sure, why not? They can grab whatever. Axis did retake left. They just need to be able to hold it. We'll see how long that lasts. Also, flanking maneuver on right, even though it's being stopped by a Vet 4 MG34. I'll give credit. That's a really good MG. Like... Give credit where credit's due. El Patio's like, I've got some veterancy with me. I'm not Regal, who's lost pretty much all of his infantry and had to regroup. But at least he has one veteran unit. Uh, was it the White Foster's coming in to stop the push on right? Which is something I think the Allies are kind of like flabbergasted at. They're like, wait, wait. The Germans actually regrouped? They're fighting on us? What? No, that can't be possible. They can't be coming back in a major way. Yeah, they just regrouped, got more manpower, and, well, now have geared up to a point where they're actually posing a threat. Not a major threat, not a, not like a substantial one, but enough. Also, uh, engineers just pushing on through, because why not? Um, they'll probably take over that point. And now the Germans took over mid. So, yeah, they regrouped pretty well, and without that blob, I think, uh, Panzer is definitely feeling it. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, he needs to upgrade him, get some better and see. And even with that, like, he doesn't have as many, like, much population of manpower, I would think, for having just so few units over the course of this game. Anyway, uh, King Tiger and Elephant pushing into mid. Calliope opening fire on the Elephant? No, just randomly. Panther charge coming on in, though, onto mid. Mortar characters would be like, well, I, we didn't sign up for this. And just, yeah, pinging off, for the most part. Oh, there goes the Panther, though. They still have all the AT guns in the world, thanks to Shrimp. Panther's taking a hell of a beating, and again, a lot of his manpower is currently down. 
So I, I, again, I don't know what's, like, I get Trying to push in for a quick kill. I get it, but you need infantry or something to deal with these AT guns. A Panzerwerfer, a Stuka. Oh, there's the Panzerwerfer. A little light, but uh, maybe here in open fire so it's not so, because that was a long range Panzerwerfer. It was so scattered. Meanwhile, elephants in mid, but nothing to stop infantry. Like, absolutely. AT can just turn and start shooting if it wanted to. And there's nothing stopping him. Brumbar, at the very least. Uh, yeah, you, Penal's great idea. Brumbar can make it not work. Good news is, it looks like with the SW-85 and the, uh, well, I would... No, we actually no other AT infantry. It was just the SW-85, just slowly wearing it down. Okay. Good for that. He actually beat down the Brumbar. Good, 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 good. Grandiers, though, should be able to retake that area, though, and stop the Soviet advance. Meanwhile, they're taking over this position. Oh, nice minefield. That's a good, that's a sneaky move. That probably took forever with two models, but he did it. He got the minefield operational, which will really pester the Soviets. Oh, good. He finally got minesweepers on his engineers. It only took 30 minutes. Uh, airstrikes going in from Sturmvik Strike, holding back the infantry and hoping, hopefully allowing the allies to push in, because they need it. And by need it, I mean need it to you know, get back in the lead of the VPs. Look. Stuka coming in. Uh, Howitzer still managed to survive. Okay. God damn. Now it's... Alright, so we got a Tiger Ace, an Elephant, and a King Tiger walking in the mid. Let's see if this becomes a joke or, well, let's see if this becomes a joke for the allies or make a joke for the Axis right now. Panzerwerfer lightening up the load a little bit. No infantry support is my biggest concern right now. Oh god. Tiger is definitely doing some work. Along with that King Tiger, well actually doing more work. 32 kills, Jesus. AT guns though are all lined up. All oh, these heavy tanks have no support. What are you doing? Tiger Ace is good, not that. Oh my god, there's so many AT guns. He realizing I've made a huge mistake. Just just firing at the Panther because the smoke doesn't do it all the way. Oh, this Tiger Ace is so screwed. What was that? What on earth was that? Yeah, where was that smoke? Uh, I swear to God, if he gets mad being like, My Tiger Ace didn't do as well as it said it would. It's like, really? 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 Uh. I, I wonder why it did so well against four AT guns and multiple, like, allied tanks. False makers as well, barely. They might not make it. Uh, Okay. At least, all right, the guy out there. All right, don't let that veteran Falschmager squad die. At least as pathetically as that Tiger Ace, please. Oh my God. My Tiger Ace should take four AT guns just fine. It's a Tiger Ace. I want his. I want historical accuracy. Oh Jesus. Oh, can we get a Stuka? Oh, just fired. Stuka. This would be a great Stuka. They're all charging. You know exactly where they're going for the most part. Bazooka team's now moving on in. Oh, IE could definitely eat a lot of Axis armor right now with this blob. And he's still pushing. He's still absolutely pushing. Uh. We got another Sturmvik Strike coming on in. Bazooka teams just walk it. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh. The, yep, there goes the half track. A T gun on there. No infantry suppressed. Bazooka teams are about to open fire with a massive volley against the Panther, which is like, I can take it. No, you can't, son. You can't take this much bazooka. Oh, this is gonna be I mean, oh this is great. This is well the Panther headquarters might stop him. The blob's coming in, but the cervix strike might stop them. He's circling back. Oh, they take it the Panther! That's so good! Yep, and the cervix strike suppresses him. So no chasing, and uh, there goes a Calliope shot and all the infantry that uh, he had remaining. So Hulk is now down to very little units. Goddamn. 
What? Why is my Tiger Ace not doing as much as those Rangers? Those Rangers just walked in. Yeah, because th that's what they're designed to. You can send the infantry to stop them. Because they're pretty much all bazooka teams. Oh, is this IL-2 bomb strike? Oh, no, it's back here. That's not bad, because at least it's, you're forcing him back, so he has to go into it to escape. T-34 petting the panther. Oh, my God. So good. Because, it, again, you have to be a bit lucky for a T-34 to pet. S-35 backing up. He can definitely pen. Luckily, he's pulling back most of his armor, so I don't expect a charge. But he will break up a lot of the defenses over here. What is coming down? AT strafe. Well, it's coming this way. I, yeah, the uh, T-34 will be fine. Man, that's unfortunate. He's like, what? Why did my AT strafe, which is so overpowered, do well? Because it takes, like, three seconds for it to come in. So you can see the red smoke and just back out of it. It's not like... Look, if that AT gun strafe is like the uh, the old one where it literally would just pop in immediately. That's why the close air support was so good for a time. Because literally you could just pop it in and just immediately kill allied armor. Oh, what's this? I eat too much just left. Oh no. This might give the Germans a time to counter. Even though they... Really don't have much of an army left. Okay, uh, the, oh, some of them have an army left, but most of them need repaired. El Pato's like, I'm doing my best. I have veteran troops. I, my King Tiger has 46 kills. I, I'm doing what I need to. Don't look at me. I'm trying. I'm competent. But yeah, the, the, the allied lines are... Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, so lucky to get... Ex that Pen's great here to get... Uh, well, to get wiped from the face of the earth. Oh, we got Stuka coming in. How much is our artillery doing? Only, like... It's only got 20 kills. It's it's doing okay. I mean, the main thing is really doing, I think, is they're trying to hit those heavy tanks and target them, so, like, the elephant and such, and keep them back. That's not a bad... That's, again, a good use of the heavy artillery. Or breaking up fortifications. And it's not like the Axis have a ton of direct strikes now available to them. Their best strike that they can use is currently... Not effective. So. Like, it, it may kill it. It may. Quotation marks. Panther! You've done this a million times. I don't think this is a good idea. I, again, button. Just button. Uh, wait. He's not buttoning. I don't know why Panther's not buttoning. Well, luckily the AT just... A firepower hitting it brought down the social health. Oh, T-34 by Hawaii man going in for a dive. Also, nice as uh Oh Grogo, yes! Again, he did the ram so that we could get closer. And no, you don't need to be like what, bet one or whatever it is now. You can just ram. The strafe just takes longer to come in, I believe. Panzer uh were for coming on in to mid along with all the artillery. My god. Did they finally kill those AT guns? Hold on. No, they're still alive, for the most part. I think one of them got decreed, but they're still hanging in there. Act allies just need to keep pulling the VPs for a decent amount of time. Left side, they'll probably lose it. And yeah, that's it for the Axis. Yeah, there was no way they, they had enough time to come back. Now, with an AI, there's a higher probability that they could do something, because AI will just kill everything. But luckily, I eat too much. Just had such a decent sized army that the AI really probably could have eventually, but at least for the moment, couldn't fuck it up. So that's good. Double checking damage. By the way, thank you, Hawaii, for submitting a replay. Uh, a lot of you guys submitted replays after the recent patch, so I'll be hopefully going through those slowly over time. But we'll see. We'll see how uh, KOTU stands up. Anyway, uh, let's see. Top damage, Hawaii. I, although he took the most losses, my lord. Who needs Soviet infantry? Just send them to their graves. As long as the Germans, uh, you know, fall apart. Oh, goddamn. 48,000. That's a lot, uh, damage. But also, that's a lot of, that's a, that's a horrible KD. Meanwhile, on the other side, what do we got? We got ourselves, uh, top damage going to El Patio. He had the most stable army. Uh, he had also, I think, yeah, the best KD. 117, nice America. Um, Mer I'm sorry, America. And, uh, Red Gull had... Oh, I'm sorry. Regal had most damage. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. And, uh, and most kills. I, I, Again, I couldn't see that. I, I apologize. I I, I, de I, deeply apologize. Here, let me also pull it up on the bigger screen. Thank you. There we go. That that looks a little better. 
So what can we what can we learn from this right now? What can we what what can we uh, strat or like pull from this current engagement right now? Well, what I can say right now is honestly like how do I how do I put this? <sighs> Axis had the tanks, they just didn't have the men. <laughs> Again, it's just they didn't have anything to protect it, and the Allied AT guns and AT infantry just shred them. It, it's it's all it comes down to that. Big things can be taken down by small stuff, like small. But again, it, it, like you don't need another big heavy thing to take out a, a big heavy thing. All you need to do is have something very effective used without any counters to it. So. A building looks great, but it doesn't take that much explosives properly placed to bring down something. So, oh, and, yeah, so it's like these King Tigers look like mighty beasts, but you just have a couple bazooka teams, or in this case, a couple guard troops. And they're slow, they're so slow, and, and uh, with the button ability, they just fall to place. They, they just fall apart. So that's why, again, Panzer did so well. Hawaii, I'm actually curious, what was your... How much damage did you do? I'm assuming it was... Oh, yeah. AT guns. That was also the thing. They had no, they had no counter to AT guns. They didn't really try to artillery or anything. The Stuka was mostly fighting the infantry. They, or at least, like, on the move. For the most part. They, like, they never tried to take out those AT guns. Or at least quite effectively. Like a coordinated barrage. Because those AT guns got a lot of veterancy. They may have not gotten a ton of kills. But they were doing work. And they killed so many. So many of... Um, up there. There it goes. They killed so many of, like, uh, Yellow's forces. It was just insane. But, hey, guys, that's going to be it for today. Make sure you submit your replays at GreatShotProductionsGmail.com or my Discord. Really does help out when I have a nice selection of replays. But, otherwise, it's been GreatShot, and I'll see all of you next time. Hello, everyone. This is GreatShot. If you want to check out previous content, video links will be above, including my Patreon link, which... Again, many people support, including Afria, Malam, Joey G240, Samuel McKinney, Seth Coopers, Anton Bashara, Pyro Shark, Ace, Fall of Man, Jacob Oswai to round it out. Thank you guys so much for your incredible support. If you want to be a patron, you can join. Otherwise, thank you to my current patrons. You guys rock and help me do what I do best. Anyway, this has been Grayshaw17, and I'll see all of you next time.